Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Tim from Accelerate and this is our seventh episode, a speedrun of a dynamic index or a table of contents and we're starting right now. So I'm going into my desktop here and I'm going to create a new Excel file and I'm just going to call it index. Alright, so we're going into our new file and whilst we're waiting for it to open, guys I've got 90 subscribers at the time of this recording, thank you very much. And uh, if we can get to a hundred subscribers on this video, I'm going to leave you with all my files for our first seven episodes in the descriptions down below. All right. So let's say we've got a lot of worksheets in a workbook. So let's go with five. I'm just going to add some extra worksheets here. So we've got five worksheets. I'm just going to reference them. So I'm in worksheet seven, uh, worksheet one. I'm going to go to A1. Just press one in A1. In sheet two, I'm just going to put in a two there. I'm going to put in a three at sheet three. And at sheet four, I'm going to put four. And sheet five, I'm just going to put in a five as well. All right. So now I'm going to go into the Visual Basic interface uh, in the developer ribbon here. If you don't have this developer ribbon, uh, it's easy fix. Uh, you can check the video descriptions above for my previous videos or you can just follow this quick tutorial. It's file, options, you can go to customize the ribbon and you make sure to tick the developer box here and press OK. Awesome. So I'm going to go into our Visual Basic interface here and I'm going to insert a module. So you go to VBA project, you right click and you go to insert module. So this will give us a nice clean canvas to paste in some code. So I'm just going to go and go into my files here. So I've left you guys a cheat sheet uh, in, down in the descriptions below. So if you can quickly go and grab that and you're going to copy all the code that I've left to you guys there. You're going to say control C. You can minimize the notepad. I'm going to go back into our Visual Basic interface and in that module I'm going to hit Control V. So this pastes our code for the index code and I'm just going to run through the code as well. So I'm just going to disable screen updating and display alerts. I'm also going to put in a little uh, error loop so it picks up if there is a tab called index. If it isn't it adds it in or it takes it out and then adds it in again and if it is there it just goes on with the code and then it also puts in some nice font and a font bold si and size as well and then at the end of the day it picks up what sheets are in the workbook and it hyperlinks it in that index sheet so it, it's a quick click to go to those tabs as well quite a nifty uh, code that we've got here so let's see it working in action I'm going to close the VBA interface here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the developer tab and I'm going to go insert and we're going to insert a, a form button here so I'm just going to add it in you can make it any size that you want it to and you're going to go automatically to assign a macro and we just created that generate index sheet in that module one I'm just going to highlight that and hit OK what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to change the caption here that it doesn't show button 1 to show go to index. And I'm going to right click on this button, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in every sheet that I've got. So sheet 2, I'm just going to hit control V, it pastes that button in, in sheet 3, same, control V and then in sheet 4, control V and in sheet 5, control V. All right, so that's nice and easy. So we've got five workbooks, or five worksheets in this workbook. Maybe you have even more, so you can just copy that button over into those other sheets. And let's see this code work in action. So I'm just gonna hit this button, and let's see, oh, this is magical. So it creates this index tab for us automatically, and then it also hyperlinks the sheets as well. So I'm just going to go click on sheet 1 and it will take you to sheet 1 and if you hit go to index it takes you back. So let's say we've changed the names of our sheets. So sheet 1 becomes A, sheet 2 becomes B, sheet 3 becomes C, sheet 4 becomes D and sheet 5 becomes E. Let's see what happens. If we go to go to index it's going to pick up 
the name changes in our tab. So I'm going to hit go to index and you'll see it automatically changes the references. If you go to A, it's going to take us to the old sheet one, which we changed to sheet uh, A. So now let's put in another sheet. Let's put in another sheet and we're going to call it F. So remember, if you go to index, there's no if yet so I'm just gonna copy that go to index button once again so you're gonna to go to index right click copy go to the new sheet that you've just added and we're gonna paste that button in and if you click on go to index it's gonna pick up that new sheet and it's gonna put it in our index so that's a nice dynamic index or table of contents and yes this is so magical uh, Excel is so wonderful and I really love what it can do so guys, as I said, if we can get to 100 subscribers on this video, I'm going to leave you all my files for our first seven episodes down in the descriptions below. From me, Stone, and from Accelerate, cheers.